today's episode in our Learn With Me series, we are going to clean the rotary hook area in our embroidery machine and also learn how to clean a metal bobbin case. Right now, as you can see, the rotary hook area needs a good cleaning. This also includes the needle plate as well. In the second part of the series, we will also be cleaning a metal bobbin case. The tools we are going to use first is the Big Shot Duster Spray, item number AC1340, which you can find all tools on allstitch.com. You first want to use the duster spray and clean out the rotary hook area. As you can see, small threads are shooting out. We then want to unscrew the needle plate using this nifty screwdriver that you can pick up at your local hardware store. You can loosen then with your fingers, which is helpful because then you know how loose they are and the screws won't go flying. The next step is then to clean the needle plate with the dust spray. And then you want to grab a paper towel to wipe off all the residual residue. Um, if there was oil on the needle plate, then a paper towel would be very helpful and absorb the oil. Up inside the needle plate, as you can see, it is quite dirty. There are a lot of thread trims that got caught up in the needle plate. You want to spray all of those thread trims making sure that it is clean and doing this at least once a week. You then want to use this double-sided cleaning lint brush and this cleans difficult to reach places using one side to sweep off any extra threads and the spray mist. Then using the spray again for a final time to blow out any excess mist. The next step is to use any oil pen. You can find one on allstitch.com, item number EW2132, and delicately place a drop of oil in the needle arm once a week and also putting a drop of oil in the bobbin rotary hook in the trough, which is designed so that the oil feeds down and fills where it needs to be. Be careful not to over oil as well. So now we are going to put back the clean needle plate. Screw it in using your fingers first, if you'd like, and then the screwdriver. You don't want to tighten the screws too tight and make it hard for you to unscrew when you need to clean it again. Next, we are going to talk about how to clean your bobbin case. Within the bobbin case, which is an essential tool and critical part for how your embroidery machine runs, we will be using the All Stitch Sideless White Bobbin, item number SLW. Before we input the bobbin in the machine, we are going to clean it. First, you want to close the cover so the lint doesn't go back in the rotary hook area. And then next you want to use the Big Shot Duster Spray again for a final clean. So on the bobbin case, there is a tension flap, as you can see, and lint and dust can build up in there from time to time. So you want to make sure you clean that area using a 2-inch post-it. 
You want to fold it so the glue is on the inside, getting a nice crisp corner, almost the thickness of a cardstock, and put it right underneath that flap, seeing how it pokes out on the other side. Checking to see if anything comes out and brush it off, not knowing it is clean, we put it in a brand new bobbin, spinning clockwise as you can look at it. Then put it, the thread in the slot on the side and up underneath the tension flap, and there it is. Now to give a quick tension test to make sure everything works. And you might have to test and loosen the tension a few times before you get the tension you are looking for. To loosen the tension, you use the larger screw on the bobbin case. Then doing the drop test, it looks perfect. Snip off the excess thread and then input the bobbin case in the embroidery machine. Thank you for joining me in today's Learn With Me episode. Feel free to check out our other videos and our other educational resources on allstitch.com. Allstitch, all the supplies, all the savings, every day.